turn it back down to a medium. Okay, back to over here. So we gotta add three eggs. Boom. Like so. Um, meh. Boom. Like so. Meh. And boom. Like so. Meh. Well, welcome back to the show. So today we are cooking some good stuff. We got yellow rice, we got pork chops, and we got mixed vegetables, carrots and peas. Oh, I cannot wait to eat it. It is so, it's gonna be so good. Here, let me show y'all what we got going on. Right now I got the pork chops. They need to slow down a little bit. They're, kind of get, they're cooking too fast, so I'm gonna have to move them off. But I got pork chops that are smothered in butter on both sides right now. And then over here we got our yellow rice. It also has butter. Um, a little bit of broth and some spices some rice spices that you buy somewhere up there and over here oh yes we have peas and carrots it smells so good I need to get some kind of spatula or something uh, for this crud hold on chops here what do you guys normally put on pork chops? Anything? I cook them in a little bit of butter with a little bit of salt and pepper and that's about it. So we're just gonna let those kind of slowly cook because they're still a little bit on the frozen side. Remember, whatever utensil you use to touch your raw food with, you do not want to touch any of your other food with it because you don't want contamination. Also, you don't want to use the utensil that you're using for the butter. You don't want to smear it on the raw food and then dip it back in your butter and smear it on the raw food again because now you've just contaminated the butter. So make sure you don't do that either. Um, so this is going nicely. Bada boom! And then we got spices like, oh, let's see, we got sea salt, cinnamon, cinnamon. Really? I bet that'd be pretty good on something. It smells good too. You know, cinnamon's real good with vegetables. We're just gonna pull, holy shit, I put a little, that's okay. No worries there with the cinnamon. That'll be plenty of good. Um, okay, so now we have cinnamon in our vegetables. That'll be all right. Add a little flavor to it. What else we got? Savory, we got some chives, we got oregano, paprika, a pound or two of this, you smoke it, boom, to the moon. Moving on, uh, sea salt, sea salt, what's that smell like? Alright, what else we got, anything? Let's see here. So, when you're cooking your pork chops, guys, make sure that you add sprinkles to them. You gotta add sprinkles. Sprinkles? Is, is is just it's just so oh wait a minute hold on now no 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 sprinkles I'm just joking no sprinkles don't add sprinkles to your pork chops I am just joking but we got we got chocolate cake mix up in this bitch cup of water half cup of oil three eggs boom bake up some cakes yo let's bake us a cake geez what y'all think all right, first thing we gotta do is set the oven, 350, boom, 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 350 set. Next, we need water, oil, and eggs. All right, so I got the eggs right here. We need a measuring cup because I can't count. All right, measuring cup. Boom, measuring cup, got it. What else? I need oil. What kind of oil? We recommend using Crisco oil. What the hell is Crisco oil? I don't have Crisco oil. I got great tasting extra value oil. How's that sound? All right, I'm gonna bake us a cake. Something I can mix it in. How about that? I mean, it's not exactly a mixing bowl, but it, it'll hold up. Let's wash it out. Okay, 
washed out. All right. So first thing that needs to go into it is the water. So we need one cup of water. Right now I got a cup and a half. So let's pour some of that out. Uh, that looks about a cup. All right. One cup of water. I need a half a cup of this oil. So a half a cup. That's down there at the bottom. And stop. Perfect. All right. Half cup oil. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. How's this going on over here? Oh, our rice. Our rice is dehydrating. We need to mix it, and it's still a little too hot. So we're going to turn it down just a little. How's our veggies? Veggies are doing good. Look, guys, make sure that your handles are pointed inwards okay because if that's hanging out you can hit it and all that hot stuff will come on you and hurt oh it will hurt all right so we need to flip our pork chops next we've got to flip the pork chops mate because if we don't flip them they're gonna uh, and burn man whoa hot whoa hot and flip and flip all right Good to go. All right, so now what we need to do is pour this into this, but before we do that, it, we have to coat the surface of the pan. And we need this vegetable oil cooking spray. So make sure you coat the pan. After you put that in there, set the timer for 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll go with 13 and we'll come back and check it when it's at, when that 13 bell goes off. So while you wait for your pork chops to cook, it's always important to attack somebody on Clash of Clans. Very, very important to attack them. So if you guys like me cooking, drop me a like. Drop me a like. I need a like. In fact, I need two likes. I need as many likes as I can. Let's see what the rabbit's doing. Isabella, what's up, Bonnie? What's up, Bonnie? Hello. What you doing up here? Chilling? Mm hmm? She's a pretty cool rabbit. What, Sadie? Don't get jealous. Good girl. So anyway, that's her house. Isabella, the bunny. Oh, it's wet and sticky outside. Say hi to the camera. Hi, camera. Close this back up. Man, what's the air set to? It's because I'm in this kitchen cooking. Alright, so once your rice is done, you want to take it over and dump it into a collier or to a strain basket, whatever you want to call it. So the alarm is going off for the cake. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, it is rising up good. Alright, now there is an old fashioned trick to check these. You can take a toothpick and stick it down inside and when you pull the toothpick out, if there's any, um, let's see here, here's a toothpick right here. If there's any of the, the batter or the cake stuck to the toothpick, then you know that it's not done yet. So let's just go ahead and pull that out. Right here, give it a good look, look. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Uh, I'm gonna set it, I guess, right here on this. All right, let's take it and poke it. And look at that, right here, I have vanilla frosting. Oh, oh Boom. 
score. Damn, that looks good. Mm -mm -mm. I think everything's done. The rice is ready. The vegetables are ready. They smell good. They're nice and hot. They actually have a nice cinnamon flavor to them. Our cake looks good. It just needs to go in the fridge so it can cool off. And then our pork chops are done and ready to go. The only thing there's left to do now is clean. Good to go. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Another wonderful night of cooking with ATEC PCs. Make sure to leave me a comment. Make sure to leave me a like. And as always, you guys be cool. And I'll see you guys next time.